Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss on the topic mathematics pedagogy in preview of the new education policy. Means in the perspective of the new education policy, how mathematics should be taught in this 21st century, in this century of data science, in this century of artificial intelligence, in this century of machine learning and computational sciences. So the technology is getting advanced day by day. So we should give a little insight of these modern technologies to the students from the school itself. so what are the approaches in teaching mathematics in teaching mathematics pedagogy that is the approaches that we will adopt for teaching mathematics to the school students from classes 9 10 11 12 onwards so that they get insight of these technological terms also that means we will discuss the latest mathematical pedagogies that is implemented by the new education policy so my name is vijayan sharma from the school of education semester 2 and this is an assignment that is given to me by dr mahendra kakrela that is assistant professor from central university haryana school of education so let's discuss on this topic so basically what you are seeing this is the map of mathematics this is a conceptual map of mathematics mathematics itself is a very broad and Uh, like it is like an ocean of knowledge it is a very broad topic it is a very broad subject and what we are learning and what we are going to teach the students it is just like a drop of water among the oceans so you can just imagine a drop of water compared to that a mighty ocean so what we are seeing over here it is an ocean of mathematics and what we learn we learn only this small portion of mathematics so we have to be precise and competent in our topic so that we can we are able to make the students understand in a better way so the key highlights that we will discuss today in this presentation are the recent trends of teaching mathematics as per the new education policy the latest pedagogical innovations for teaching mathematics as a school subject analytical and numerical skills enhancement for the students that we need to do so that the students are able to gain the insight of the latest technological terms and developments happening day by day computer programming and ict based approach for teaching mathematics should be adopted because now it is the age of computational sciences as of the pandemic you can see all the classes are going online and only ict is the tool that is helping the teachers and the students to interact with each other so in this presentation that is nep 2020 in the preview of mathematics pedagogy we shall focus upon recognizing identifying and fostering the unique capabilities of each child numerical and analytical skills will be enhanced for each child computational thinking and ict based teaching should be used in teaching mathematics coding and programming skills to be started from class 6 onwards and problem solving ability and mathematical thinking to be induced in the curriculum so the resources of teaching mathematics the best resources can be at the step 1 that is at the ground level it is the textbook then comes the mathematics lab then comes the mathematics club then comes the mathematics library then comes the ict equipped classroom then comes the mathematics learning softwares then comes the audio visual aids so if you will have this all seven if we have this all seven setups then we will be able to teach mathematics in a very innovative and useful way as per the new education policy has recommended so mathematics textbook basically in india under the cbse board the mathematics textbook that we are using is either of the r s agarwal sorry r d sharma r s agarwal or ncert now ncert is the curriculum that is designed by the government that is a, ncert is a government body that is ministry of education has designed it based on this curriculum of ncert private authors like r s agarwal and r d sharma have created their own books most of the students use r d sharma or r s agarwal instead of ncert as a learning resource why they use these private books the reason are these books have detailed theory with illustrations these books have algorithmic approach in solving questions and problems they have large number of solved and unsolved examples questions and mcqs activity based explanations are also there in this book brief summary and concepts and formulas are also given in this book so these books that is the private author books are more popular among the students than the ncert for at least mathematics i can say mathematics library sorry mathematics laboratory why is it important to have a mathematics laboratory 
the basic materials that we will have in the mathematics laboratory are concrete materials that is the simple mathematical topics such as the beads sticks pebbles ball frames number cards balances coins weights measuring tapes apparatus which is used in montessori method cardboard chart paper graphs and abacus all these materials that have been discussed here are used for teaching mathematics in the primary and lower primary level this materials helps the students to learn the principle of counting the next that we have in the mathematics lab laboratory are the charts charts on different topics like the percentages fractions average means we will have the charts of all these topics their formulas will be written on this chart so that the students can memorize the formula by just looking at the charts then we will have the pictures and photographs that is the images of various mathematicians those who are prominently working in their field can be displayed in the mathematics room models various mathematical models such as those of the triangles squares solids in this format these models can be made and displayed in the mathematics laboratory so that the students can gain the physical insight of all these 2d and 3d structures equipment and materials concerning to other subjects just like the barometer hydrometer pendulum all these instruments are from the physics but they have the mathematical implications so we keep all these instruments in the mathematics laboratory also some essential items like the set square compass protector all these geometrical equipments can also be kept in the mathematics library laboratory and during the uh, uh, practical session these can be used for teaching the students mathematics club mathematics club the biggest mathematics club in our country is the ramanujan mathematics club they organize various quiz competitions and other kind of competitive examinations from time to time and also they give the best teacher award every year to the mathematics teacher also so what are the basic functions of the mathematics club organizing inter class inter school competitions on some interesting mathematical topics arranging a lecture by some renowned mathematicians teachers and scholars celebrating a day and event pertaining to the history of mathematics or any particular scientist of mathematics organizing discussion about the practical application of mathematics organizing recreational activities in mathematics such as puzzles riddles sketch problems number games etc making or collecting charts models pictures and graphs of mathematical laboratory organizing mathematical exhibitions or science fair this happens in every school mathematics library why are they important the mathematics teacher remains in constant touch with the latest books in mathematics that is any latest books that are coming in the market or the books that are have going through the syllabus updation or any modification so the new edition of the books directly come to the library and teachers those who are teaching in the school will get the latest updates of the books from the library itself so library library is helps in getting the latest updates in the syllabus also library includes the interest of the subject and the students the students gets better library facilities it helps in maintaining the activities of mathematics club also and it can be also helpful for the gifted and bright students those who want to learn extra or those who want to practice more they can go to the library and learn more out of their interest ict equipped classrooms as you can see in this figure that the classroom is not having a blackboard rather they are having a smart board or you can see a lcd screen this is an lcd screen so what happens the teacher is teaching on this screen and all the contents are digitally shown to the students like the tlm animations powerpoint anything and the students gain a better insight with higher dimension of understanding similarly you can see this is an on screen projector method of teaching here the teacher is teaching with the help of projector and whiteboard and students are learning from that and also the students are having their own system where they can see watch and practice on their own that is see this is students are having their own system students are practicing the same content that they are seeing with the own system so over here what is happening students are practicing by looking on the projector and also practicing with the system so this is also an icd based classroom mathematics learning software so what are the mathematics learning softwares mathematics learning softwares that we will come across for teaching mathematics with the help of ict and computer coding and programming skills new education policy recommends various use of softwares for teaching mathematics to the students so what are the basic softwares that can be used for teaching mathematics to the students they are desmos geogebra matlab microsoft excel and python desmos the icon of desmos looks like this the icon of geogebra looks like this the icon of matlab looks like this 
the icon of Microsoft Excel looks like this and the icon of Python looks like this. Now we shall understand one by one the application of all the softwares and why are they important. So basically this Desmos, Desmos is used for teaching the quadratic equation, linear inequalities, simultaneous, in, simultaneous linear equations, coordinate geometry, plotting of functions, integrations. GeoGebra can be used for teaching mensuration, 2D, 3D geometry, algebra and all the other stuffs that were used for teaching the Desmos. MATLAB can be used for teaching matrix and determinants of classes 11 and 12. Statistics for classes 11 and 12. Computer coding and data analysis, artificial intelligence as of now CBSE has, in CBSE has introduced computer coding, data analysis, artificial intelligence from class 9 onwards and computer programming has been introduced from class 6 onwards. So this, all these topics, all this means Python can be used from class 6 onwards. From class 6 onwards these things can be used. So these are the bas basics. Uh, mathematics learning softwares. In the end of this video, I shall demonstrate how Desmos can be used for teaching mathematics that is uh, for solving quadratic equations and simultaneous linear equations. I shall show these two topics how can be used to teach by using the help of Desmos. Audio visual aids. Advantages of using audio visual aids are it helps to make learning process more effective and conceptual it helps to grab the attention of the students. It builds the interest and motivation of the teacher students learning process. It enhances the energy level of the teacher and students. It is even better for overburdened classroom because you can only show the audio visual aid and students will understand on their own. It provides students a realistic approach and experience. Yes. So who can take the benefit of the audio visual aids? Basically students with some disorders like those who are having language disorders, those who are having autism spectrum disorder or those who are having down syndrome, those with the learning disorders or those having the English as a secondary language means they are not able to understand English properly or those who are having oppositional defined disorders or those who are having personality development delay or those who are having hearing impairment or those who are having any attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD or any kind of disorder if they are having then to teach the students with the special needs we can use the audio visual aids and it is very useful for teaching students with special needs. Innovations done by CBSE, Central Board of Secondary Education is the largest central government board in India that controls the school education. So what CBSE has done, CBS, CBSE has introduced subject data science as a subject from classes 9, 10, 11, 12 onwards. They have introduced artificial intelligence as a subject from classes 9, 10, 11, 12 onwards. ICT that is computer information and communication technology or the computer literacy you can say as a subject has been made, made compulsory in all the classes. So this will make students more computer smart. CBSE in collaboration with the Microsoft has been implementing all these innovations. For classes 11 and 12, CBSE introduced one new subject called Applied Mathematics besides the traditional pure mathematics. Means if a student who wants, who is going to the classes 11 and 12 and is not willing to study the pure mathematics or the traditional mathematics, they can opt a new subject called the Applied Mathematics in which the day-to-day -day application of mathematics will be taught to them. Practical Assignment Lab Work module has also been added in the mathematics curriculum of classes 9, 10, 11, 12. For computer science subject in classes 11 and 12, earlier they had C++, now they are teaching the Python programming language. Atal Innovation Mission, this is very important. Atal Innovation Mission AIM is a government of India's flagship initiative to create and promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship across the length and breadth of the country. So according to this Atal Innovation Mission, Atal Innovation Mission is establishing Atal Tinkering Laboratories ATL in every school across the India. The objective of this scheme is to foster curiosity, creativity and imagination in the young minds and inculcate skills such as the design mindset, computational thinking, adaptive learning, physical computing etc. means all these kind of computational activities are being taught to the students with the help of Atal Innovation Mission which is a flagship of the Government of India's initiative and they are establishing Atal Tinkering Labs so that the students gain more insight about these latest trending topics like robotics, artificial intelligence, data science, machine learning and other kind of computer related stuff. So CBSC is doing a lot of innovation in the field of education and they are trying to teach the students the latest technical innovations that are going on in the market. So thank you students for listening. This was my presentation.
I hope you liked it. Now, as I said that I will be displaying, I will be displaying about how to use Desmos. So, a simple example I want to show you. Like suppose they, they, they are the two equations. Like y is equal to 4x, y is equal to 4x plus 6. This is one equation. And suppose there is another equation, another simultaneous equation. Y is equal to 5x minus 10. No, not 5x. Let let it be x plus 4. So as you can see, these two are simultaneous linear equations, and we need to find the solution of these two equations. So we can teach the students that the solution of these two equations exists at that point where these two equations intersect. That is this point. They are intersecting. So they are intersecting at this point. That is minus 0 0.667 and 3.33. So like this, graphically we can show them the students that yes, this is the point of intersection and they are intersecting at this point. So they are having one solution. Now suppose if the line is parallel, say 4x plus 5. As you can see that these two simultaneous equations are parallel to each other. Since they are parallel to each other, they never intersect at any point. That means these two system of equations will have no solution because they are not intersecting at any point. Now suppose if I write this equation as 8x plus 12. So you can see this, this uh, equation is intersecting at the point x equal, y equal to 0. So this is how it happens. So we can teach the students uh, the simultaneous linear equation where there is solution and where there is no solution. Also if you want to plot quadratic equation like y is equal to x square plus 4x plus 2. So this is the quadratic equation. Sorry plus 3. This is the quadratic equation. So we, if we want to know the root of this quadratic equation then we can easily see where it is cutting the x axis. This is cutting the x axis at minus 3 comma 0 and minus 1 comma 0. Therefore minus 3 and minus 1 are the root of this quadratic equation. So we can induce that the point where the quadratic equation is cutting the x-axis that becomes the root of this quadratic equation. So these kind of concepts can be taught to the students with the help of this software Desmos. Also the other softwares are there. I will make videos on that topic also. Thank you. My presentation is over. Thank you for listening. Thank you students.